What's up agents and welcome back to another division build video. This one's going to be a quick one, but it's my favorite AI build right now for doing pretty much anything in the game. It has a lot of DPS, a lot of survivability. It's an absolute banger. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Don't forget if you need help, join my community discord. You'll find that link in the description down below and come over to Twitch and hit follow if I'm not live or maybe I am live. Help me out with that view count over there as well. I really, really would appreciate it. With all that said, let's get started. So we're here at the base of operations. We're going to use Gunner for this. And there's literally one reason why we're using Gunner for this. Killing enemies grant 10% armor. Absolutely brilliant. That's what we want for this build because we need some survivability in there as well. We also get the 50% faster reload. You know, the Banshee pulls if you really want it. The kill uh rpm increase by five percent uh, all that kind of good stuff as well and select an assault rifle because surprise surprise we are going to be using the scent elmo second rate and offhand really don't matter for this we are all in with the scent elmo as you can see i pumped it up to 21 percent expertise get yours at least up to 10 that's fairly easy but really anything above 10 at this point is just extra for no real reason in, at all the game is just not that difficult so we've got damage target out to cover, reroll yours to that, make sure you've got yourself the blueprint from the season track, and I believe that's at level 91, and we've also got the shock talent, it's absolutely brilliant, It's the RPM is just so fast, things just die, and it's so, so accurate, it's absolutely awesome. Before we get into anything else, we might as well have a look at the stats, you can see I'm exactly 60% critical hit chance, and I'm 137% critical hit damage, 75% headshot damage, and 21% health damage. Okay, so we're just at the crafting bench, and that's because two pieces of this you can actually craft from the bench. We're going to use Bellstone. So you can see here you can craft the Bellstone mask, and you can also craft the Bellstone chest piece. If we go down here, there it is. You can craft the Bellstone chest piece as well. Obviously, you can find them from Countdown. The chest piece is a little bit tricky to get. I've not got the perfect one right yet, but I will show you in just a second. So it's absolutely up to you how many blues you stack into this. I wouldn't recommend putting any more than two in it. You really, really don't need it. But as you can see, I'm running five red cores and one blue core. But to be honest, I would probably run this six red cores just because of the amount of armor on kill that we get. We get 10% from Gunner. And as you can see from the Bellstone, we get another 10% here and 1% armor regen. 1% doesn't sound like a lot, but it really, really does stack up. It's really, really nice. You can see here we have rolled the weapon attribute here to weapon damage on the core attribute, crit chance, crit damage, and crit chance in the mod slot. Now this is a piece that you could run blue if you wanted to and just go with crit chance, crit damage, and crit chance. So then this is the chest piece. Now as you can see I've kept this as blue, crit chance, crit damage, and crit chance in the mod slot. This is the one that I would love to be able to get as red, but I need to get obliterate on the bottom. So rolling a piece with crit chance crit damage and obliterate pretty hard to do not impossible i have done it on plenty of other gear sets to get them unicorn pieces i've just not been lucky enough to get it with bell stone but it's up to you on how many blues you're going to be running and what you're comfortable with obliterate though just absolutely top tier you could run a glass cannon here if you really wanted to uh totally up to you but yeah i like obliterate i think the incoming damage isn't worth it on glass cannon uh, I think Obliterate just does an absolutely great job. But you could run Spotter as well. But if you're going to run Spotter, that leans to you losing some of your armor on kill, having to run Technician and the Link Laser Pointer, and maybe something like a Police M4 with Flatline on instead. And then nice and easy, we're just going to run Strikers for the other four. Obviously, they come with red core attributes. So if you did want to increase your blue core attribute, pretty easy. So for instance, on the holster, you could just get one with crit chance or crit damage and then just swap the core attribute to blue if you wanted to increase that bl blue core count. Uh, as you already know, Strikers weapon handling, rate of fire and Strikers gamble. We're running the backpack so it gives us 1% instead of the 0.65, totaling a 50% extra weapon damage when it gets to the top. Weapon damage, crit chance and crit damage here on the backpack. Then on the gloves, we've got weapon damage, crit damage. Then on the knees, weapon damage, crit damage. And then on the holster, weapon damage, critical hit damage. And that's going to be it for the build. I run the shield and the reviver hive because I like having the extra life. But you could run the banshee pulse here as well if you want. It just depends how run and gun you actually are. But I feel like one blue and the 20% armor on kill and the armor regen is just totally enough for any content that we've got in the game right now. 
And this build absolutely slaps at the same time. Maybe if your expertise on your St. Elmo is a little bit lower, you could go with two blues or maybe even three. Totally up to you. I went with these two because obviously we can craft them. I don't know if you can craft the holster or not. Let's have a quick look just before we end the video. Keep, yep, you can craft the holster. So if you want to do the holster, you can. And um, with the knees... You can craft the knees. So you can literally pick any two that you want to do, uh, depending on what materials you've got. And uh, yeah, absolutely happy days. Gloves, let's just check that actually as well. And gloves you can as well. Yeah, so absolutely pick whichever ones you want. Get the one that you need to get the all red version and away you go. Thank you for watching Ages. I hope you enjoyed the quick build video. Let me know in the comments down below what you might want to see next. And don't forget to come and see me over on twitch.tv slash DJ Tickle. Thank you for following and thank you for subscribing to the channel. And if you don't, please do. And I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.